Uh, the next uh, speaker uh, will be David, who will tell us more about his journey with myeloma. David, please. He's coming over that end. Hi, I'm David. Uh, in uh, my country, uh, in Burma, my name is Nyun Tan Thut. And uh, I'm 61 years now. Uh, this is my family. When I was, uh, when I was okay that time, and uh, just before, uh, just before the uh, incident happened, uh, this is what we take in uh, Marine Parade. Uh, I was a uh, seaman before. I am a second officer on board the ship and uh, in the Merchant Navy, a local fleet. Uh, and uh, this is my family, uh, five of us. And uh, one day I was uh, mm, Working on board the ship, I was pain everywhere. I mean, like joints, joints pains, and uh, people say uh, I go to GP and uh, they say it's like uh, rheumatism and uh, joint pains normal. So uh, give me uh, some painkillers and uh, go on and off, on and off for from uh, 2000. Uh, no, uh, from 1987 until 91. 91, I stopped the shipping line and uh, uh, I got a uh, um, family to settle. So I'm working with uh, Calvary Assembly of God Church in Singapore which is in uh, Upper East Coast Road as a, a church worker there. And uh, I was involved with my children, uh, drama presenting and all this stuff and uh, do all sort of uh, props that I can do. I help up in the ch church and uh, one night uh, in March, we are practicing for uh, drama. I have a very severe pain on my left knee, and uh, left knee is swollen until like my head. And you don't have to touch, you just point, I pain. And uh, that is the SARS period, 2003. And uh, I was in uh, uh, admitted to uh, CGH and uh, for two months I got no clue what is going on and uh, by the time, thank God, this uh, SGH closed down the specialist clinic and uh, Dr. Darrell was there. He read through uh, my case sheet and say, uh, David, can I, can I test your bone marrow? It seems like you, uh, you need this. Okay, I am really fed up with the heat and pain and I was with a high fever for two months without clue. And uh, After three days of uh, tests, I got uh, confirmed with uh, multiple myeloma and uh, transferred to SGH. The funny thing, I hear the uh, diagnosis. It's a death sentence. I never see a survivor for the cancer. 
I never ever in my life and uh, I was pushing in into the ward and I saw a guy sitting on you know on the bed stood two knees are beside the head sitting down like that oh my god I'm going to do I'm going to be like that and he was coughing very badly and uh, coming out blood. Oh, I, I, I thought it is the end of my life. And uh, Dr. Darrell come and told me, uh, it is okay. Now there are a lot of uh, advanced medications and uh, way of treatment. So, okay, but I, I really don't want to talk to anyone for two weeks. I was down for, I don't know, um, I, I can't even look at people. And uh, one guy named Jimmy just next door to my bed, he came and talked to me, uh, David, it's okay, I got uh, uh, nose cancer, I can do it, you can do it too. So I, okay, I just listen and uh, okay, okay, I just want to end the conversation and uh, later, we go through uh, all these chemo and uh, chemo is not that easy with uh, a packet of like uh, O O uh, A track cartridge kind of thing in your pocket and uh, uh, put in your PVC, CBV line and um, after that Six cycle finished, then uh, they, they gave me a stronger chemo and uh, autologous done. And thank God that uh, I am survived with that for 10 years, over 10 years, then I uh, relapsed. Uh, I was working with the church for 10 over years until now. And uh, I just want to encourage you all that is a very advanced treatment and uh, privileged to have that kind of uh, treatments. Uh, some, they go through like uh, pain and needles, uh, numbness. It is nothing compared to the good life we have. And. Uh, um, this is uh, my niece and uh, my children. This is after the treatment, we went for Malaysia for church camp. And uh, those days I still have a few hairs. And this is the, uh, in Serangoon Garden Way, the uh, Ling Kwang home where my a wife is walking and uh, with all these Burmese people with uh, Songkran what a festival this is now my family is mm. I really thank you for uh, big spot for my family. And Dr. Darrell, Dr. Satish, I really thank from my bottom of my heart. My <coughs> eldest daughter is uh, working as a nurse, senior staff nurse in Ward 48 now. Just because oh, 
she saw the need of the patient. She's she's uh, on go train, and my wife is a uh, senior southern in uh, Lingguang Home. Uh, doing for the uh, dementia patients. Yeah. And uh, my son is working for uh, attachment with uh, uh, Holly, with uh, physio. And my youngest one is still studying in, uh, in uh, NAFA as a uh, what do you call it? Uh, teaching to, she want to be a teacher of the dance uh, to to poor people that who doesn't have opportunity to uh, express their feelings through dance. Well, thank you uh, for having me have a talk and uh, be encouraged that uh, there are ways, there are uh, means to help in, uh, in uh, doctors and nurses around. And thank you for everything. I thought I would thank him right away because I think um, he was truly a story from the heart without any uh, you know, PowerPoint and other things. And it takes tremendous courage to stand here and talk. I know the whole family very well. And um, you know, I think the whole family is doing a very good job. You know, they're selfless people. Um, daughter is a nurse and you know, I, now I know about his uh, other children. Um, it's um, what I wanted to tell also is that you can see he was diagnosed in 2013 and it's now we are in 2017. Um, he had a relapse but he had a second transplant 11 years after the first one and um, he got response from that as well. So I wanted to um, show, uh, uh, showcase people who have survived and lived with myeloma and also been in a state to come and talk about the story. And I find his story very inspiring. And that's the kind of um, uh, mentality and attitude we should be trying to look for in every single uh, person. So um, I hope that in years to come, majority of our patients will be like David. So uh, I would like to thank him again for coming here. It, you know, he's not doing very well because he has got knee pain, as you can see. Um, he had a hip replacement, I think, but uh, I think he's probably looking at uh, getting something uh, else fixed now because of the pain. Uh, but I wish that, you know, that I'll continue seeing him as a, um, you know, just once in a month or two months, um, because that's a good sign uh, for forever. Um, and uh, for most of you to be uh, at least doing the same. So thank you again.